Okay, so wonderful good morning everyone. I welcome you to my YouTube channel. Presenting before you this tutorial is Hampel Clement and hope you'll be able to learn something even as I teach. And if you are new to this channel, just make sure that you subscribe. Also, don't forget to hit the like button and also share to others. Okay, so uh, this tutorial is all about uh, logarithms. Uh, we're going to do how to uh, do the laws of logarithms, how to solve uh, some uh, practice questions on, on logs, that is equations, and many other things. So you don't want to miss any concept. So make sure that you pay attention and also try to solve the question before I, I do it. That is, if you happen to have some idea. All right, let's get started. Here, we have the laws of logarithms. These are some things that you must know if you want this topic to be very easy for you. So for example, in the first, uh, 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 in the first place, we have been given the log of a, a x multiplied by y. Now, how does this law apply? If you have log base a, x multiplied by y, this is just the same as, this is just the same as log base a multiplied by x, Okay, log base a multiplied by x plus when you're multiplying, it means you add. Then log base a multiplied by y. That's the meaning. Okay, so when you are multiplying, you add. Let's go to b. Log base a x over y, this is the same as log base a x since it's a division it's a division or we are dividing it's going to be a minus here log base a y okay very simple how about if you have something like this log base a x to the power n this is just the same as n the n which happens to be the power, is going to come just behind the log. So this is just the same as n log base a x. Okay? That's the concept behind. All right, how about if you have log a base a? Now, if the base and the, the subject here is simply the same, Let's say here you have, like, like we, we do have here, we have log base A and log base A. So log base A and A here. This is just one. So if you have log base two and two here, it's just one, okay? Very simple. So we can just say this is one, okay? So this is how easy um, uh, this thing is, okay? This is how easy this thing is. You don't even have to, um, do much they are quite very easy okay where are we we have log a to the power n then x so this is just the same as log base a to the power n then x how do we apply the laws of logarithms here it's quite easy this is just the same as you say 1 over n, then you continue with log base a x. Okay, so this is simply how you do this question. It's very easy. Let's do some, some work that, that is here. Let's see how we're going to apply these laws. So here they're saying evaluate the following logs. Now, let's start with the first question without wasting much time. Notice they are saying log base 10 of 1,000. So we do have, we do have log, you have log base 10 of 1,000, like this. Now you are supposed to equate this to x. 
So you can just say this, let it be equal to x. Then this, uh, uh, this 10 is going to be raised to the power of this, okay? So you get your 10, which happens to be your base. So it's a 10 power this x, okay? Equal to this, 1,000. Okay, okay, this is 10,000, 10,000, like this. Now, you know that this can also be written as using the laws of indices. It's just the same as 10 to the power x equal to 10 to the power 4. This and that. Then, therefore, the answer is going to be 4. Okay, we get to B. For B, they are saying we have log base 4, 1 over 2, we equate this to x, therefore we can say 4 raised to this power is going to equal to 1 over 2. Now this can also be written as 2 to the power 2, x equal to 1 over 2, right? Now this can also be written as 2 to the power 2, x is equal to 2 to the power negative 1. This and this can go. We're going to have 2x equal to negative 1 over 2. Over 2. Therefore, our x is equal to negative 1 over 2. Like this. It's very easy. We get to C. C, they are saying we have log 2 over 3, 9 over 4 equal to x. So this is just the same as 2 over 3 to the power x equal to 9 over 4. Okay? Now, as we are able to see, we, we are able to just work out this so that it fits to this. So this is just the same as 2 over 3, right? To the power x equal to. Now I can exchange this so that it becomes um, 4 over 9 to the power negative 1. See? Therefore, we can say that this is just the same as 2 over 3, x equal to. Now, this is just the same as 2 over 3 to the power negative 2. You see? Because we know that this is negative multiplied by 2. Okay? So that this doubles, it becomes 4 over 9. This and this can go. Therefore, our answer is going to be negative 2. This is how easy this thing is. With D, D, they are saying that we do have the log of 2 over 3. 2 over 3. Of course, we know that this is just 1. <laughs> All right. So this is how you solve these questions, very easy. So from here, I'm sure you've, you've grasped the concepts and now you are able to do these very interesting, complex questions on logarithms. All right, let's get started. These are logarithmic equations and by learning those laws that I was able to bring out, I'm sure by now you are able to solve as many questions on logs as you can. Let's get started. We have been given the first question, which is saying, the first question is simply saying that, okay, this is A, saying the log of nine, log base nine x minus log base three x equal to zero. How do we solve this question? Okay, so you need first of all to work out the bases because the bases are different. This is best nine, this is best three. So we take it to the lowest base, which is best three. So this is just the same as how do you change from base nine to base three? How do you change? You need to pay attention. First of all, you have to say log to the desired base of three x over log to the base you want to change. So it's going to be three to nine like this, minus 
log 3x equal to 0. Now, notice that this is just the same as 2, right? Because we know that t, uh, this is 2, okay? We know that, um, why can I do this? Why can I do it so that, okay, this is just the same as, okay, let me do it from here. Okay, this is log 3, 9x, this is x to the power, so this is 3 to the power x equal to 9. So this 9 can also be written as 3 to the power 2, then x is equal to 2. No wonder why we are saying this is 2. Okay, so I'm sure by now you know what I did there. So this is just the same as log 3, okay, log base 3x over 2 minus log 3x equal to 0. From here, this is the same as 1 over 2, log 3x minus log base 3x equal to this. We can multiply everything by 2 so that we don't get any remainder. So when you multiply by 2, this will be log base 3x minus 2 log 3x equal to 0. Now, these are like terms. So therefore, this minus this will just have negative log 3x um, equal to 0. This is just the same as over negative 1 over negative 1. Therefore, we're going to have log base 3x equal to 0. Like this. This is just the same as this to the power. So it will be x to the power 3 so it will be x equal to 3 to the power 0, and therefore our answer is going to be 1. Okay. Okay, let's get to B. B, what are they saying? B, they are saying, we have been given log 4, log base 4x equal to, sorry, plus log 2x equal to 6. We are going to change the bases, first of all. How do we change the base? Same concept. It will be log to the desired base, the lowest base, which is base 2, then this x over log base 2 to this 4 plus log 2 x equal to 6. Remember uh, the laws that we had learned. You need to know this. You need to know these laws. Make sure you know the, the, the laws that we learned. Then we know that this is 2. This is 2. If you follow this concept that I did here, you'll find 2 here. This is just 2. Okay, so this is just the same ones. Log is 2x over 2 plus log 2x equal to 6. Okay. So this is just the same ones. 1 over 2 log base 2x plus log 2x to the power, uh, equal to 6. So we can multiply everything by 2. Of course, this is going to be log 2x plus 2 log base 2x equal to, this is going to be 12. Okay, if we multiply everything by 2, then this plus this, it will be 3 log 2x equal to 12 over 3 over 3, therefore this is going to be log 2, x equal to, this is going to be 4, remember this is the power, so it will be x equal to 2 power 4, and then our final answer is going to be a 16. <sighs> Very simple and interesting. Very simple and interesting. Let's look at the third, third question, which happens to be C. Where is C? C is saying, C is, is saying we do have, that is log, um, okay, we will need to change the bases as well. We need to change the bases. Why do I do this question? Okay, we can do it from here. So here they're saying, 
um, let's look to the power okay let's get to do this question it's very interesting i'll take you step by step so it's we are calling it c c is saying we have log 4 x log 4 x log 4 x that is log base 4 x plus log base 16 x plus log base 2 x equal to 7 how do you simplify this very easy the lowest base is this one so we'll change the bases so this let's change the base first of all for this so to change the base for this it will be log 2 x over log 2 4 okay plus log 2 x over log 2 16 plus log 2 x equal to 7 okay now here we know that this is 2 so this is just the same as log 2x over 2 plus log 2x over 4 this is 4 plus log 2x equal to 7 okay so now this is just the same as 1 over 2 log 2x plus uh, 1 over 4 log 2x plus log 2 log base 2 x equal to 7 when we reach here then what do we do to avoid fractions so to avoid fractions we can multiply everything by by okay so if i use 2 i'm going to have a fraction here so but if i use 4 then everything is going to work so we multiply everything by 4 so if i multiply by 4 here i'm going to have multiplied by 4 multiplied by 4 it's going to be a 4 here multiplied by 4 so this is going to be this one these two so this is going to be 2 log um, 2 x this is going to cancel so it just be log 2 x plus this is just going to be 4 log 2x equal to uh, this is 28 28 then from here this these are like terms now this plus this this is just the same as um, this is 3 3 plus this this is 7 so we're going to have 7 log uh, 2x equal to 28 okay Therefore, we are going to say over 7, over 7, we are going to have log 2x equal to, this is just the same as 3. Therefore, we know that this is the power, so this is the same as 4, this is the power, therefore we are going to have uh, x equal to 2 to the power 4, x is equal to 16. Okay? This is how easy this question was. <laughs> it's very easy. Though it's wrong, it's quite easy. Don't get confused. Let's solve D. D is saying we have 2 log 4 x equal to log 4 9. Don't get don't even complicate things this is very easy it's very easy okay this is quite easy the only thing that you have to do now is to use the laws of logarithms this is just the same as log 4x 
this can go this side remember that property so it's going to be to the power 2 equal to log 4 9 now since you have this and this to be the same they can cancel therefore you have x to the power 2 equal to 9 the root of this therefore you're going to get negative 3 or positive 3 Okay, where do we go? Very easy, right? Very easy. We do have some other questions. There is E and F. So what I'm going to do is this. We have, we have, we have this one, this one, and this one so I'm going to leave the two as your homework so you have to do those two questions I've marked I think I've done most of them then you can send them on this whatsapp line and I'll be able to respond to you in my own free time. So I'm sure you've enjoyed the lesson. I'm sure you've learned something. And I'm sure you are able now to do as many questions on logarithms as you can. So don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to hit the like button. And also don't forget to share to others. And also don't forget to comment if you like our video quality or maybe you don't like it. You want to, you want to you have some changes. You can do the needful, otherwise, thank you so much.